Happy holidays, everyone. This is Rachel from the Dotting Center. One thing I love to paint every year is dotted snowflake ornaments. These are quick and easy to make, and they're the perfect handmade gift for your friends and family. And just like real snowflakes, you can use a different design and make each one unique. In this tutorial, we'll paint this snowflake. It's an intermediate level project only because we use applicator bottles and resin at the end, but you can use standard dotting tools and varnish if that's where you're comfortable. Either way, we are going to have fun. So here is snowflake number one, and I'm calling this one the swoosh flake. For this project, you'll need a set of wood snowflakes. And like I said before, you could use standard dotting tools, but in this project, I used this paint applicator kit and I used these paints. A note, I used that folk art color shift paint and added some gel medium to make it a little bit thicker for extra plumpy dots. And then to finish the snowflakes, I added an extra thick coat of resin for a durable, glossy finish, and then added crystals in the end for sparkle and bling. So the first step is to paint your base coat and then apply a stencil if you need it. If you don't and you wanna just eyeball it, that's completely fine. Now that center dot is Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash mixed with a um, Deco Art Gel Medium and it thickens that paint and makes it more bead-like and gives it kind of a 3D effect. Now that dot was a little too close so I got my silicone tool out and just wiped it off. And then I came back in and placed it where it should have been, it just gave it the proper spacing. All right, so now I'm coming in with that Folk Art Ocean View. This is a multi-surface, thicker satin acrylic paint and it works beautifully in the applicator bottles. So this is another paint that you can use to get your dots extra thick. And uh, it works just as well as Deco Art Americana Premium and um, heavy body acrylics mixed with pouring medium. So yet another paint to add to the list of medium body paints that work really well. So here I am adding Aqua Flash along every other line. And now we're gonna add some drops and you can see how easy that is using this tip. So here is my daughter showing me up with her cute little project. Did you see that? Oh gosh, she just makes my heart melt. She's so special. And you know, I, I know I'm biased, but I pretty much think she is uh, an artistic genius, so. I don't know where she gets that. Um, the camera is a little shaky right here because she was dancing. And uh, I didn't have the heart to tell her to stop dancing. I'm trying to record. So I just kind of let her dance. So it might get a little shaky. But anyway, back to the tutorial. So you can see here, I just, it was very easy to apply these little um, curved swoosh shapes along that drop and now I'm going to come in with the uh, aqua flash color shift paint and just add two little swooshes along the edge and one little drop to cover the center section right there. Now some of you have asked how hard it is to apply pressure to that bottle and it depends so here's, here's how it goes. The thicker the gauge, so the wider the gauge of the tip, the less pressure you have to apply to the, oh my gosh, she's really dancing right there. Um, this, okay, let me back up. So the smaller gauge tips are much more, you have to apply much more pressure, but it's not, it doesn't ever cramp your hand. It's not uh, very difficult at all. And then the thicker the paint, obviously the more pressure you have to apply. 
but the benefit of using these bottles is you get thicker dots. You can apply different size dots depending on the pressure that you use. And you don't have to reload your tool every time, which is nice. And they also make it easy for you to do shapes like this, where um, as you apply that swoosh shape, you can apply a little bit of pressure and the paint will come out along with the tip. So rather than using a stylus um, and just running out whenever the paint runs out, in this situation, your shape will run out whenever you stop applying pressure. Does that make sense? Eh, you, you see what's going on. Yeah. So now we're gonna come in and fill that section with little tiny swooshes with that folk art ocean view. And if you have the applicator kit, try the different nozzle tips. You're gonna find that you have a preference and um, really it's just the smaller gauge makes smaller dots and the larger gauge tips make bigger dots. So now we're gonna add that aqua flash color shift just along the lines extending out on each of those spokes. And for those of you who use Color Flash, you'll notice that it is this, I added that medium uh, body gel, the heavy body gel from DecoArt, and it makes it a medium body acrylic. So that's kind of fun. You can play with thinner paints by thickening them up using medium and they work beautifully. All right, so there we go. This is now full coverage. And you could just let this dry for a couple of days, make sure it's all the way dry because keep in mind these dots are thicker so they do need more time to dry. You could add varnish or you could do like I did and apply resin. Now, if you've never used resin before, I highly recommend looking it up, researching a little bit on how to use it, but this is how I applied it. Now I used these pipettes because I use them whenever I need to apply resin to small objects. It, um, there's nothing worse than applying too much resin to something and have it overflow and you know, drip everywhere and get completely messy. This regulates the flow of resin so that I can properly diagnose the situation and give it enough resin and then just kind of finesse the edges so that it stays put. Now it will most likely run over the edges. So what I did was I put a little tiny cap underneath and that keeps it off the surface of the table so it doesn't end up resining itself to the table because I've done that before and that's not fun. All right, so there it is. And look, it did drip a little bit, but that is nothing that can easily be cleaned up. That is a thick coat of resin and it's gonna add durability to an ornament, which let's be honest, we're gonna pack it away every year. So you wanna make sure that it's gonna hold up and not, um, you know, disintegrate on you in 10 years. Cause who knows, this might be an heirloom ornament. So I'm gonna get the crystals out and I use this wax pencil. I have them available at the dotting center. They make it super easy to apply crystals. Now, I don't play with crystals very often, so when I do, it is just so much insane fun. I like to switch out the colors and, you know, there's like a whole nother level of designing, you know, trying to find out the right placement of bling. And uh, yeah, so I get the right placement, I get the right stones, and then I 
get out the glue. So now that I know where all the stones are going to go, I just kind of wipe them off, keep a mental note of where everything goes, and then come in with my glue. So I like to use Judykin's Diamond Glaze. It's a water-based dimensional adhesive and it's used specifically for um, you know, glitter, beads, glass, plastic, anything that you need your glue to show up completely clear. This stuff is awesome. I was using um, crazy glue before and it dried cloudy and that just does not look good. So I switched to this stuff and I completely love it. All right, so there it is. And now there's one final step. We are gonna let these gemstones properly dry and then we're gonna come in and add a ribbon to the back so that we can hang it upon our tree. I just get this little ribbon, cut it, and then glue it with hot glue right to the back. So there it is, the swoosh flake. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I have more holiday crafts coming. As always, you can visit me over at the Dotting Center on Etsy if you need any dotting tools, patterns, or projects. Thanks again for watching guys. See you next time.